Students, you all know that pulmonary alveolar proteinosis is a type of interstitial lung disease. In this, there is going to be either a genetic mutation or the production of autoantibodies, most commonly of IgG subtype, which will lead to an excessive accumulation of surfactant. And this is what leads to the development of very protein-rich fluid within the alveoli of the lungs and that's why the name pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. This fluid, if you do a bronchoalveolar lavage, will turn out to be very milky and will be staining positive for PAS. And this basically occurs because of a dysfunction of macrophages. Right? And when you do a CT scan on HRCT thorax, you will see that the lung has a crazy pavement pattern. Now, all of this is actually occurring. Where is the autoantibody directed or the genetic mutation causing a defect of what? Actually, all this is because of GMCSF going wrong. So, because GMCSF is responsible for breakdown of surfactant, here there is either a mutation or an autoimmune process. Sometimes there is an acquired disease. So, myelodysplastic syndrome or exposure to talc or silica can lead to reduced GMCSF levels which leads to increased levels of surfactant causing pulmonary alveolar proteinosis.